Hello and welcome to this video series where we create isometric drawings. Now we are using standard tools like a pencil, scale or ruler, set squares, compass, a protractor, eraser and a sharpener. So the story here is that we went on site, we saw a part and we created a rough hand sketch of that part. Now that part is having a base of 50 by 50 square, a 10 mil thick plate, and then it has a circle which is having a diameter of 30 millimeters, and it has a hole which has a diameter of 20 millimeters. The height of that cylinder is 30 millimeters as well. Now we have to create an isometric drawing out of this orthographic sketch that we created while we were on site. So again the method remains same as we have discussed or have been discussing during all these videos. So we create a first of all we create a horizontal line arbitrarily take a midpoint of it and then let's draw all the angles 90 degree 30 degree on either side of the 90 degree. So that's the 30 degree angle that's 90 and that is 30 as well once when they are created let's create our base of 50 millimeters so first of all let's create this which is 50 millimeters from here this is 50 millimeters from here And then we'll also create the 10 millimeter thickness here. Well, just on the side here and 10 millimeters here. I think, yeah, 10 millimeters here. And 10 here. And then we need to join these. Now, here I'm just creating a reference line to build off for later. Now, this technique that we're using is also called as box technique. So, what we are essentially doing here is we're creating a box. Again, this one is for later. So now, this base has been created. So this base here has been created. This 50 by 50 with the thickness. Now let's start creating this. Now this diameter is 30 millimeters. And we have previously learned how to create isometric circles in the previous videos. If you haven't watched them, I would suggest you go and watch those videos first and then come back here. Now here, the diameter is 30. So we'll need to create a square here which is 30 millimeters. Now, how do we create that square? Well, it's easy. 30 is, so if I do 10 centimeters from either side here and here the same way and here too. We'll get our square. So if I join these lines here, and again I'm drawing these faint lines because they are just construction lines which are not important in the final view. So that's the square out of which we'll have to build the circle here. But while doing that, what we'll also do is we will create this 30 centimeter tall cylinder height as well. So let's draw four lines, 30 centimeters, 10, 20, 30. Again here, 10, 20, well, this is 30 exact, so don't have to go anywhere. And here, 10, 20, 30, and then lastly here, 
30. So let's create that square. Now, if you think that it is getting a bit confusing here, what I suggest is erase the lines that you don't think are useful to you for drawing the circle. So let's just erase those lines. Okay, and then there are several methods in which we can create isometric circles. So we'll use the quickest method. We know that the uh, the diameter is 30 so the radius would be 15 so let's first create this line and then 15 centimeters on either side that's 15 here that's 15 here and then from this point we'll create these two lines And then we'll create those circles or arcs. Again, as I said in my uh, video for circle, drawing with left hand is always hard. It's always difficult if you are a right-handed person. And then get the center of this so center of this would be here and here so this would be our second line and we can take the radius from this point here to this here and then finish off drawing this circle like this right so the isometric circle has been created so let's rub off the construction lines because we don't need them right now so that's your circle created here now let's also rub off these lines because we won't need them. And let's make this circle a bit darker. So it is visible. The same method we can employ to draw this 20 centimeter or 20 millimeter hole in here. Now I'll quickly pause the video and then draw that uh, hole and then come back. So here I'm back. What I did is I created that square again and then generated as in the isometric square and then generated this isometric circle within it. And then the next step for us is that from this two edges here, we have to drop 30 centimeters down. So 10, 20, 30, and then same thing here, 10, 20, 30. Now these two are the same points here as we uh, created the circle with. So we need to create the circle, but in here now we just have to create this lower half of the circle in this square area. So again, let's do that quickly. Here, I won't pause the video. I'll just keep on going. So 15 is here. 15 is here. And then when I draw this line here and here, I can then... Well, first of all, let's create this.
now again this circle will start from here so that's that's our circle and then same thing here and then for the center here at 15 and at 15 here let's just create this arc whoa okay i think we got the arc that we need so let's make this arc a bit dark and then finish it up with drawing these lines darker as well And then I can rub off all the construction lines so that our drawing looks a bit tidy. So that's how you'd create an isometric drawing from the orthographic sketches or the orthographic drawing that you have created. Okay. Thank you all and I'll see you in the next video.